Welcome back to Hylor Gaming. And last time we were playing, we had just teamed up with Tulin, so we're ready to journey on up to the Stormwind Arc. So the idea is that we need to travel upwards. We need to find a way to go up these mountains and travel through this, I don't know what to call it, just a sky optical course. And Tulin's going to help us out. So he's got powers that we don't have. Might be good to strengthen this weapon. That'll be nice as a weapon for now. And Tulin can help us out, so let's do this. So if I run and jump, and then I press A, Tulin gives me a blast of air to get across gaps. Good thing it came up here. Okay, the weapon could work in a pinch. Let's see... I like the spear, but it's not as powerful. Unless we were to attach something to that spear... Hmm... What do you think? I'm supposing that this spear is going to break soon because we've used it a lot. So let's use this one. Very good, very good. Tulin, you're a big help. Except for when he's recharging. Oh! I don't think I've came across this one before. Very good. So we just gotta keep finding a way up. Oh, Korok. And monster. Okay. So, is there any reason to go over here? I'm curious to see where this Korok wants to go. Look at the ice roots, too. I'm afraid that I got separated again. Oh, you're just up there. Yeah, we can help him out. Hmm. Let's see. Do I have... I still don't have really cool, useful hearts. Hmm. There are ways to get them up there easier when you have more Zonai materials to build contraptions and crafty things that will get you from one spot to another spot like that. Without them, I don't think I can do this. We're gonna have to come back. Sorry, pal. Next time. Oh, come on. That was too quick. Oh, I think that might be our last fairy. Whoa, where did he come from? Oh, more. Tulin, you're awesome. Thanks, Tulin. I appreciate your concern. Good job! Alright. 
Now that we got some more Zunai material, well, let's not use that one. I want to use one of these Zonai horns and choose to put that on this new Zonai sword. It'll be a little bit more useful. That's a good looking shield. Hmm. This one's breaking. That one's not breaking. Let's go. What was there? Oh, just the old shield. I can never tell how high up I can use ascend for a surface to ascend into. The surfaces have to be within reach. And sometimes it's difficult to tell if the surface is within reach or not. Let's use your own against you. Ah, that didn't work very well. Let's see. Ooh, the ice. Oh, I want his stuff. We just want to keep going upward. I like using the speed up dishes all the time. But this early in the game, I don't have enough materials to do that. So it's best to just save him for climbing. <laughs> Tulin, you could just, you know, give me a ride. Could you bring me up into the air and just carry me? Oh boy. Hmm. If we have some key eyeballs. Yes. I didn't kill him. Oh, got him. Aracuda eyeball. More powerful than the Keese ones. And so the Aracudas are much like the Keese, just so much bigger that they pack more oomph in their eyeballs and wings. But they're just as easy to kill. They have very vulnerable bodies. Hmm. If only it were possible to find out what's inside of this blizzard. Oh? Why, if it isn't Tulin, I was too focused on the cloud to notice you. But if you come here, that means... Yeah, they said I could go up there. I knew it. Something told me you were the best one for this mission. Everyone's admired your wind gust technique since you first demonstrated it. You may be the only Rito capable of rising above that cloud to find the truth among the turbulent skies. Give it your best shot. I'll be here watching for your return. Thanks. Between Link and me, you won't be disappointed. All right, here we go. We gotta fly again. Woo! Can I fuse these blocks together? And if I did... Okay, I can't get up that high, can I? Maybe? I can climb these, right? Yeah. If I sit this there... Put this here. Then get up atop. Would that reach? It does! The angle is so skewed, it's hard to tell if that it was right above me or not. So 
Sometimes there are treasures that you could skip unintentionally. So, just looking. If we see anything, we should try to go down and get them. Interesting how there's like arrows pointing up all over these structures. Now what? Do we just climb that thing? Hmm. Tulin, how do we get there? Oh, okay. That's how we get there. Oh, it was right above us. And this column's much thicker, so using a send through it takes longer. Makes sense. The Rising Island Chain. Hebra Mountain Sky. Now we know what to call this stuff. Hey. Link, it was around here that I saw Princess Zelda, but now hmm. I don't know where she could have gone. Hmm? What is that? You didn't see that before? Look at that. It's a boat. Something mysterious from above. Come. Come. To me. Whose voice was that? Was it coming from somewhere up there? Okay. Looking kind of freaky, but awesome. Whoa. Do you see that thing inside the cloud? Is that another boat? But it's huge. There's tons of those little flying boats, too. You know what it reminds me of? A line of ships soaring, built as passage skyward. The god ascended to heaven, leaving behind an ark. This whole thing is just like the song of the Stormwind Ark. Was that children's song true after all? You heard that strange voice, too, right, Link? I'm sure I heard it say, come to me. It's like it's calling us up there. I don't see anything around here that would lead us to Princess Zelda. Maybe she went over to that ship? Well, nowhere to go but up. Come on. You said it, Tulin. Okay, and we can use the top, the sail on these ships as a trampoline. And then we use the shrines on the way as checkpoints. <laughs> Downward force in the Mario Mechas shrine. Okay, this shrine actually took me a moment to figure out when I first came in here. And I left. <laughs> I tried. And uh, yeah, not a proud moment. Use the weaker ones first. I should have understood that from all my experience with Breath of the Wild shrines, but it did not click. Thank you for the arrow. I wish I could blow that away or something. Can I actually pick that up with Ultra Hand? If I can get him to come back here. Oh, too late. So can I pick that up with Ultra Hand? Yeah, I could. And then just toss it off to the side so that he couldn't retrieve it. Start looking for a treasure chest. Could be anywhere. Okay. 
Lots of space to land. Then, I bet it's up there, the treasure chest. Yep. And we don't have tool in here. That's not going to reach. Hmm. Maybe I just have to wait for this to get closer. Yeah. Yep. I love the material surface. It just looks so good. Huh. You keep expecting to be able to use Tulin's gust, but it's not here. So here we got to get onto the ship and find a way to shoot an arrow. Okay. At that thing over there. So maybe from this ship? Yes. And then get onto this sail to get up inside of the chamber. Okay. Yeah, that was it. So the rising island chain. Now where to continue? Is that the direction? That looks like the direction. We haven't seen these things yet. So we know what these ice surfaces do if we jump on them. We don't know what's underneath. Okay. Good stuff. So, I'm wondering, can I actually take a picture of Tulin? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's not what I meant to do. Well, I just put a marker there, but it doesn't show the marker. Hmm. It's not letting me use, like, the camera as a camera yet. It would be right there if I had it. So I can't take a picture of you, buddy. But we're still pals, right? Okay. Oh, the sun behind all the f dense cloud cover. Alright, let's do this. Couldn't do it without Tulin. So we can go this way, or that way. Which appears to be a dead end. Unless there's like a hidden treasure chest there we don't know about. Good job. Ah, oh, thanks again, Tulin. Is that an arrow? Oh, it wouldn't stick. Okay, so let's see, is there anything we missed? Nope. Okay. So these things must have been in pristine condition a long time ago when the story of the Stormwind Ark song occurred. Hot. 
Just a little weather now. Probably smashed a little bit from various blizzards at times. He doesn't even know we're coming. Drop the weaker bow, grab the better bow. So if we shoot these guys with chill shrooms, will that freeze them? Wait, did we miss this? Looks like something we missed. I don't want to miss that, whatever it is. Hmm. Oh, you didn't fuse. No secrets? Alright. Gotta get it up to the top there. I just like to defeat the the soldiers for their parts. Oh no! Did not count on that. Mm. So these ice crystals may be on you, yeah. Uh, no. Let's see. Maybe a bigger crystal will pack more damage. Yes, there we go. Hmm. Well, we wanted to see what was down here. Just keep going. Now, we killed that soldier. Where did he go? He's a ways down. I want his stuff, though. Oh, okay, we didn't kill him. Oh, we did kill him. But his stuff is left. Oh, oh there it is. Okay, that won't not help. Hmm. Okay, it's midnight. When the glow of the blood-stained moon creepy stuff. Upon the land. 
Interestingly, the monsters come back with blood moons, but the Zonai constructs don't. Because they're not Ganondorf's monsters. They do respawn eventually, but like on their own timing system. Okay. Tulin, did you find me? Good. Okay, so we go over there. And just keep going. Right? I wouldn't want to be descending. We'll get a better view here. Yeah, that's the way forward because there's a soldier we haven't found yet. Okay, there's a secret in there. Down in there, I see some ice. We'll go in there and then we'll ascend up and surprise him. Oh, Link! No! No! What was that? I pressed the button to pull out my glider and it didn't work. Ah, okay, we gotta... We gotta go back. Okay, take two. That's a better spear. Mm. Let's drop that. Okay, so maybe about there. Get a little closer. So, if you freeze any enemies and then you do other attacks, it does more damage to them than it would if they were not frozen. So, that would be a flame emitter. Okay, so, if... let's check our weapons. Do we have anything that produces flame? We don't at the moment. So perhaps I don't need two axes. We could torch things as well. Okay, hey, that's the way forward. go from here. Did I miss it? Oh, there. I suppose. Okay, we got a construct, boss guys. Tulin, get ready. Oh, treasure chest on top. Nice. Gotcha.
Good job, Tule. Cloud looks a little ominous. No one's probably set foot on here in, I don't know, a thousand years? Maybe more? Oh! We're blocked. Hmm. Okay, this will probably give us another trampoline. Sail. And that's really cool. So if you got an Aracuda and you attack them in the air and they fall and die, then it'll automatically give you their resources even though you couldn't go and find them and pick them up. They want to make sure you got enough arrows. was one more, right? Bullseye every time. Doesn't appear there was any particular reason. Oh, yeah, there is a reason. We do want to destroy that so that we can proceed, right? What is that way? Maybe we've already been there? Everything looking so much alike, it's hard to tell sometimes. Ta-da! So, what happens if you dive into those? Okay. You can dive, but it just launches you up. Should have looked above and behind me first. Okay, nothing. Hey, t hey there. Doing okay, pal? Not too cold? I could give you some of my warm dishes. Okay. Oh, there. Awesome. So diving gets you through immediately.
This rising ch island chain just keeps going. It's awesome. Any more? They give you all these chill shrooms as though you should cook with them, but they'll just keep you cool. Yeah, we could cook. Oh, Tulin, sorry. <laughs> just tried to light the pot. Nice. That'll do us for now. Anything up a top over there? Maybe. Maybe not. I think I can live without it. Okay, we got Constructs and this guy. Are they fighting each other? Yeah, I think the Arakudas are fighting the Constructs. <laughs> the other one's still around? It perched! <laughs> you killed my friend! Oh, it came over here. Made it easy. <laughs> Wrong weapon. a second too late. Hit me. Maybe save that one for later. Good job, Tulin. Close. Oh, no, no, no. Yes. All right. Well, we made it. Kaida, right? So, looks like we just missed a soldier back there. And kind of took a shortcut. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, that's a bomb. Captain Construct One Horn. 
Okay, not new, but we just don't see them very often. Okay, so if they had picked up these bombs and tossed them and they activated, that could have been a big problem. So... What's down there? Tulin, get away! <laughs> Tulin, you okay? <laughs> okay, he looks fine. Is that a secret? Yeah! Large zone I charge. We do not find enough of those. They'll be handy later on. Okay, they want us to get up there with a hot air balloon. Then we can paraglide there. And it gave up. Nothing to report. Tolan, you okay back there? You survived a bomb. Those feathers, tell you what. I need a I need some plumage like that myself. Hypothetically, I could just go over here to this ice. Wait, where'd, where'd my spear go? Wow. This is my first time flying this high. The air is pretty cold up here, huh? I'll be fine, but what about you, Link? Make sure you don't freeze, okay? Thanks, Tulin. More worried about you and any damage that bomb did to your head. All right, we have a shrine. Second checkpoint on the way. Kahatanam Shrine. Oh, it's a blessing. Ravu's blessing at the Kahatanam Shrine. Sweet. All right, we are getting mighty close to that cyclone. So we're going to be off of the rising chain of island rock structures and now just bouncing from sail to sail. And the music is picking up momentum. So cool. Gotta look out for the winds. They're driving us in a counterclockwise rotation around the cyclone. Better to go with the winds than against the winds, probably. So the bigger the sail, the 
farther it throws us. Is that the idea? And little by little, these sails will get us to higher levels of sails. You said it, Tulin. Just, just missed that one. The cyclone's on our left. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Leave it to me. Okay, this must be... Yeah, we're right up close to the top. This is so cool. Above all of the clouds. And it's clear. Oh, it's so cool. Look at that. Tulin, this is it. Are you ready, pal? And there's the storm wind dark on the inside. Wow. It's incredible. It's huge. The Wind Temple. The legendary Stormwind Dark. It looks like horses or seahorses with wings on the front. There's a cannon. There are kudas. Too far. Oh, I ran out of stamina. Wow, this is what was waiting for us in that huge cloud. This is the Stormwind Dark from the kids' song. Oh? Looks like Zelda. The... This proves it, Link. The blizzard that's been pounding Rito Village is coming from there. Oh yeah, didn't I see someone here a minute ago? Weird. I could swear they were just here. That's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me. Next time we will take on the whole Stormwind Arc Temple and defeat the boss with Tulin's help. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll catch you next time. May God bless you all. Cheers.